So for those who know me and know me very well, um, the church was a very big part of my life growing up. My, I come from a very religious background. My family is extremely religious. I've gotten older. I believe in God. I try to be a good person every day, try to be a better version of myself every day, but I'm not very religious anymore. This channel, yes, it is for finances. It is about my journey as to how I became a multimillionaire, all that stuff. But I don't know who this message might impact. And maybe I do need to share this message. So quick story, what happened a couple hours ago, actually. Um, I was talking to a, a older uh, lady at my church and her husband. Well, not my church, my mom's church. And... You know, just tell them about my journey and my, you know, how to create wealth, trying to lead them in the right direction, given the fact that they're both in their 60s, about to retire and have nothing saved, trying to give them ideas as to how they could have a successful retirement. Now, we're on the phone talking about money. I don't know what it is when it comes on to money, why it rubs a lot of church people the wrong way. I just don't understand that. And I don't know if it's the black demographic, but it rubs a lot of us the wrong way. And this is why a lot of black church going folks are poor because we don't take the time to understand financial concepts. And I'm trying to talk to this person like on a heart to heart, level and trying to really build with them then it turned into a whole big issue and they're basically saying that the reason why I'm where I am in life is because I joined the Illuminati dumbest shit I ever heard in my life pardon my language auntie I know you're watching this sorry mom I know you're watching this but dumbest crap a few years ago um, I, did a, a, I did a video called Soul My Soul to Satan the truth about getting rich and making money and back then I was younger I was more fiery I never took crap from nobody so I went off in that video I went to the church and cussed out the lady but now I've grown I'm a little bit calmer I'm much more reserved so I'm not gonna behave like how I behaved back in the day but the fact of the matter is that people like that are going to try and make you feel bad for your success and there are even people in my own family that have said stuff like that to me. They're going to make you feel bad for the sacrifices you make. It is, it's just this dumb notion where people believe that everybody who is becoming successful at any financial level did something sketchy to get there. People don't talk about the days when... Th this lady wasn't seen the days when I was traveling thousands of miles trying to get an opportunity to play basketball, sleeping overnight on trains, sleeping on my friend's floor because I couldn't afford a hotel. Not seeing the days when I was building my businesses, my early days in network marketing, when people used to laugh and tell me I wasn't this, I wasn't that, I wasn't going nowhere. How I've lost thousands upon thousands of dollars before. Trying to find my way, being scammed, ripped off by quote-unquote advisors, ripped off by, by basketball agents. People turning their backs on you that you thought cared about you. And it hits different when it's people you care about. It, it really hurts you because you want to be, you want to experience a great life with them also. But I, but whoever this message is to and you are becoming successful on a financial level not even just financially yes I'm a financial guy finances and athletics are my life but just anything in life your relationship your health your 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 you're in school studying something you're building a business people out there will try to make you feel bad for being successful don't ever let somebody make you feel bad for being successful you did the right thing you were disciplined. You stayed away from the crowd. You sacrificed. You did this for you. They don't matter. They're losers. They're going nowhere in life. 
walk away from them. No matter how close of a friend they are, close of family members they are, walk away from them. It is a disgusting mentality that these people have and they are sick and they need to get help. People like us are not the freaking problem. Let them laugh, let them carry on, because you know what's going to happen? They're going to hit 70 one day and be on their deathbed and be like, damn, I didn't do a damn thing with my life.